What's up you guys, this is Jay Younger 2, excuse me for my room, I know it's kinda, yeah. But, this is Jay Younger 2, back with another video, and in this video I'm gonna be discussing why Drew Holiday to the Milwaukee Bucks is a better deal than what you think. Hope you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, let's get into it. Drew Holiday is one of the most underrated basketball players in the entire NBA. He's made one all-star team and he's only made the defensive team twice. And to be honest, this guy should be regarded as one of the best defenders in the entire NBA. You listen to what his peers say, like Damian Lillard. Did Drew guard you that series? Like, I'm saying, yeah, he was, was it? Yeah. He guarded me. He's, to me, he's, to me, he's the best defender. In the league. You say he could stand out anywhere. You know, you put Drew in any system, any coach is going to ask him to guard the best player. I mean, we we played them in 2018, second round, and he guarded me the whole series. And he was picking me up full court. He was guarding me in the post. And I actually, it, it was tough to it was tough to dribble on Drew Holiday. He slides his feet so, so well. He got good hands. He's strong. He got good instincts. Like, I gained a lot of respect for him in that series because he went from guarding me to Clay to Steph to guard Draymond, neutralizing, pick and roll. Like, he, he's special. For Kevin Durant, these guys have said it and come out and said already that Drew Holiday is one of the best defenders for the point guard position. Not only that, but this guy can guard multiple positions and acquiring him for the Milwaukee Bucks is huge. I felt like, you know, at the time that when they got Eric Bledsoe, he was supposed to be a much better player than what he was for the Milwaukee Bucks. This guy, he was a borderline all-star on the Phoenix Suns, but once he got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks, he never fully lived up to that potential that he should have been. But for the Bucks, you're getting a guy in Drew Holiday who's not only a great defensive player, but on the offensive end, this guy is a very good player as well. A great example of this was last season when Drew was asked to lead the offense more. And last season, Drew averaged 21.2 points. He averaged seven assists. He shot 47% from the field. This man, he may not be on the level of a guy like Paul George or the Bradley Bills or the James Hardens, but he's still very much so capable of doing as much as he can for his team, but especially on both ends of the basketball court. So for the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis, you're getting a guy who is an all-around player and who can do pretty much everything you ask for him on the basketball court. And this is going to be much better for them moving forward. And not only that, but you got both down Bob Donovich from the Sacramento Kings. Another huge deal for the Milwaukee Bucks. This guy is a lethal shooter and he adds another great shooting presence for the Milwaukee Bucks. So overall, this team has a very solid starting lineup in Drew Holiday, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Chris Middleton, Giannis and possibly bringing back Brooke Lopez. This team is very solid overall. But for me personally, I feel like this is just another great opportunity for Drew Holiday to finally make another All-Star appearance possibly. Back when he was on the Philadelphia 76ers, that's when he was an All-Star at the age of 22. And when you're in a loaded Western Conference with so much talent, it's very hard to make an All-Star team. And I feel like Drew Holiday out in the East could possibly make another All-Star appearance this upcoming season. Looking at the Milwaukee Bucks though, this is definitely them showing that they're going all in for Giannis. They definitely want to show that they could build a championship roster around Giannis because this team, they've definitely not lived up to the expectations. They've had the best worker in the NBA for two seasons in a row and one of the best offenses and defenses in the entire NBA, but they can't get the job done and they're going into the NBA Finals. Losing to the Miami Heat in the second round was definitely just a huge disappointment for this Milwaukee Bucks team. But you look at their roster and what they're coming with now, they definitely look really solid. It just really depends on what the Brooklyn Nets do out in the Eastern Conference. And obviously the Miami Heat, they're still going to be there. And you have the 76ers and the Boston Celtics. So you have some pretty solid teams and we can't forget about the Raptors still as well, depending on if they re-sign Fred VanVleet or not. But we have some really solid teams out in the Eastern Conference. And the Bucks, they do have a great team, but in my opinion, personally, I feel like the Nets are still the best team out in the Eastern Conference. It's definitely going to be a very interesting playoff run out in the Eastern Conference because a lot of teams, they have a good chance of making it to the NBA Finals. But the Nets, if they have that really good chemistry as that we all expect they should, this team should be really solid overall. 
But for the Milwaukee Bucks, acquiring Drew Holiday, in my opinion, is a lot bigger than what people think because this guy, as I said before, is one of the most underrated players in the entire NBA. And he can do everything on the basketball court that you need him to do at a very high level. And personally, in my opinion, I feel like Giannis, he needed that third guy. He needed another guy who could really just get the ball in his hands and really do something with it. And I feel like Drew Holiday could be that guy. But not only that, as I keep saying and saying, this guy is a really, really solid defensive player. So giving Giannis just another guy who's an all-star caliber player, this could possibly give them the edge. But these answers will be answered in the regular season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the basketball channel. New basketball videos every week. Have a good day. Peace.